First tonight, we are following breaking news out of Greenville. A woman is facing charges tonight. The charges were filed in connection with a hit and run which killed a Greenville woman and her dog. Police say 38-year-old Veronica Tharp hit and killed 38-year-old Brittany Lawson on a sidewalk along Augusta Street Saturday morning before leaving the scene. Our Taggart Hauk has been following this for us this week. He is joining us live outside of the Greenville County Detention Center tonight with more Taggart. Yeah, Gabrielle Tharp now behind bars without bond. She has been here since Saturday. Police telling us that the vehicle that she used in that crash was stolen shortly before. It's it's one of those things you don't have an answer for. 38 year old Veronica Tharp is behind bars tonight after police say she stole an SUV, crossed two oncoming lanes of traffic before hitting and killing Brittany Lawson and her dog Saturday morning. That just shouldn't happen. That that. That's when the world doesn't make sense. Tharp left the scene but was taken into custody that day, charged in connection to the stolen vehicle. Mm -hmm. Thursday, police also charged her with reckless homicide, hit and run with death, and driving with a suspended license. A memorial at the scene, neighbors thinking of Lawson's family. It's just a tragic for, for the, the people in the neighborhood and, of course, the mom and dad and, and, her, and her husband. Some now hoping for traffic safety changes. Craig Evans and his wife have lived nearby for about 19 years. It's horrible, but this will have been, I think, the fifth person killed at that intersection since since we've lived here. And they're, they're, something of it, that it's they've got to change that. Something has to be done. Police tell us they found drug paraphernalia on Tharp. They did not find any drugs in the car. We are working to learn more information about this. For now, in Greenville, Taggart Houck, WIFF News.